how you love me electric like you do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I'm in a very different setting location today because I'm switching it up. And today I'm going to do a thrifting my spring Pinterest board. Um, I've seen a few of these videos. This used to be like a favorite video of mine to watch. And since I always just do regular thrift with me's, I thought it would be fun to kind of have more of like a challenge of more specific things that I was looking for. I have not even started this spring Pinterest board yet, so we are gonna start that now together. I'm gonna bring the camera over here and you guys can watch me kind of build this Pinterest board from scratch. It is, let's see what time it is, it's 10 o'clock. So we won't be thrifting tonight, but I do have nothing on my schedule tomorrow other than I need to record the podcast with Sydney. She has several things she needs to do before she comes over tomorrow, so maybe Daniel and I can do a little bit of thrifting in the morning and see how much of my Pinterest board I'm able to thrift. Let's get into the pinning. I'm gonna bring the camera over here and we can get started. So now you guys can see my Pinterest board. Um, like I said, I have not started anything. So I think I'm just gonna start out with, let's type in spring outfit. Oh, that's a good one. Spring outfits, 2022 trends. Let's see. See, for me, does it make sense that there would already be 2022 spring trends out on Pinterest? Um, but maybe there are. All right. <clears throat> so I'm trying to think of some things I've been loving lately. Um, okay, so I found this set from Dressed in Lala. It is an original from them. And um, they have like this, I guess this is like one of their really popular sets. It's called their ribbed play suit. And I love it. I feel like it would be super easy for me to recreate. Um, it's really just an oversized shirt with wide leg pants, but they match. Um, hopefully you guys, yeah, you can see that. Um, I don't necessarily need it to be that exact color. I'm pretty much down for any color, although I would like like a fun color. I love this. Um, this is also very Matilda Dwarf. It's basically looks like men's boxers in a men's oversized tee or oversized uh, button down. So let's go ahead and pin this because this is something that actually really does uh, spark my interest. Oops, I pinned it to another board, one second. Um, also tiny little tops. Um, I think like this is either like a swimsuit top or a bra, which um, I would be open to a bra if it did have like thicker straps like this and could like, you know, kind of pass as a crop top. Um, so I'm going to pin that as well. Another thing I feel like is missing from my wardrobe is a good zip up jacket. I have one gray one um, that I got at Walmart a long time ago, but I like this color that she has. So I'm going to pin that as well. I feel like that would be a really easy thrift find. Also really loving like these longer shorts and I could definitely find some denim that I could uh, cut. So I'm going to pin those as well. Dan, I was thinking about giving myself like a budget to stay under. Uh, maybe I could do like- but If it includes like a jacket. That's true. So maybe I could stay under $50. Um, another thing I want more of is biker shorts. My favorite pair of biker shorts are actually really inexpensive. They're from Target, the Colsey brand. Um, but I have been seeing biker shorts more recently at the thrift store. So let's add that on there. Street style is something I'm very, very inspired by. I love anything street style. Um, I love this. I love the jacket. I, I love the hat. I kind of struggle with hats with my glasses. Um, but like the baggier slack, I think is really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to pin this. I don't think that necessarily I'll be able to find anything like this, but just kind of like the overall, like, um, not like the, I'm trying to think of what the word would be, not like the bones of the outfit, but like the, the aesthetic. I'm not sure. Love this. Love, love, love the, um, oversized suits. I've told you guys that, um, and would absolutely love to thrift something like that. I'm very zoomed in, but 
Um, since I already have like about 15 minutes of footage, I'm going to just keep pinning some things um, and then I will show you all my final Pinterest board in a few minutes once I'm done and then we can pick up tomorrow and go thrifting. All right, I'm back. Um, I have pinned 28 things to my Pinterest board. I could definitely keep going, um, but I feel like after doing this, I have a pretty good gist of what I'm liking right now. I really tried to be honest about like what was realistic for me, what I'm comfortable in, what I feel confident in, um, and you are gonna catch the vibe. They're all pretty similar. So um, I showed you all like this. I need a good zip up hoodie. Showed you guys the little bralette top, the oversized kind of like bomber style jacket. Um, I really love this linen set. I saw a linen pants set similar to this, um, but a short option would be perfect for summer. Um, and this, I feel like I could recreate finding two separate pieces, um, but we'll see. I also love this so I could just get like a men's black short sleeve button down with some black linen shorts and then like a little bra. Lots of slacks. I'm really loving slacks right now. I'm really loving button downs like I told you all. Um, I love this slack which is like a little white crop top and sneakers. Um, I don't know how to say it plissé. I don't, I think that is the material but really any tops or pants like that. I don't think I'll be lucky enough to find a matching set, but that would be incredible. Really loving the athleisure style, just basics with um, like high sock sneakers and gym shorts. So I feel like gym shorts would be a really easy find. Absolutely would love to find a little t-shirt dress. I love the fit. I want it to be maxi or this length. Um, just kind of like oversized comfy vibe with sneakers. Here is that dressed in La La. Um, play suit I was telling you guys about, some black cargos, more all black outfits. I know that that's not very summery, but like I said, this is like true to me. Love this, it's like a little bit more masculine, but it's very cool street style vibes. Love this green blazer with a mini skirt. High neck tank tops are going, are have always been a favorite of mine, so I know I'll want to wear plenty of those this summer. More of the athleisure, basic comfy fit, gym shorts. Um, this is like actual basketball shorts. Now I'm pretty short, so I would need to find most likely women's basketball shorts, but I don't know. We'll, we'll uh, have to try that on for sure. Um, and then let's see, love this little all white fit. And last but not least, little blazer with a tank top and biker short. Camera's a little crooked, but sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that is everything I'm putting on my Pinterest board. It is now 10.51, almost 11 o'clock at night, so I'm going to head to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning for our thrifting my Pinterest board on a $50 budget extravaganza. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> As you probably saw, it's the next day. Um, so it's Monday, and Daniel and I got kind of a late start. I had, like, some work to do this morning. And now we're headed out. We're gonna go to, for sure, first we're gonna go to my favorite location, um, but I think we're actually gonna stop and take a picture real quick um, for Instagram, cause what am I if I'm not an influencer, you know? Um, and then we're gonna head to Goodwill. I need to like kind of review my Pinterest board from last night. I remember most of it, but since I'm going to be vlogging on my phone too, I won't be able to like reference back and forth to my Pinterest board. So I kind of want to have at least a part of it memorized. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. Okay, I found two things. A, what I think is a maxi length t-shirt dress. I'll have to try it on. And then a pinstripe button up. I don't know if it's going to be big enough for the vibe I want, but we'll see. Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing. Maybe I should take that advice, go get a life, or maybe get a job or something. Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing. Maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming. Yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion. Just got two of the pants. Where in between, he 
these voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. So I found a short sleeve pinstripe like I was talking about, um, but of course I don't know how I'm matching shorts, but I'm going to keep looking. Wouldn't that be incredible? Got dressing room. We're going to try on. I actually thought so because Daniel is um, pulling the room because this one doesn't walk. Okay, Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. Hello, it is the next day. I very abruptly ended that last clip because I thought I was going to try on some other stuff, but I kind of wanted it to be a surprise for you guys. So, left the Goodwill um, yesterday, and we actually were very pleasantly surprised when we checked out. Um, apparently a, an earlier guest returned a bunch of stuff or customer returned a bunch of stuff and, uh, didn't want her refund. She just said like to give it to people. So the three customers in front of me got their entire purchase taken care of. Um, and then mine only cost $8 for everything we got. So you'll see everything that we got, but it was a pretty good deal. And that was really exciting. And thank you to whoever that lady is. Now we are at, um, our local Goodwill. We're just going to stop in here. I have not been having good luck here lately, so I don't have high expectations, but I'm going to give it a try and see if there's any last things I can get for my Pinterest board. That's my Goodwill fit. Got these from Curtsy. Thrifted this yesterday. Already got a stain on it. Good these overalls are <clears throat> very interesting. Also found these shorts for American Apparel. Don't know if I'm gonna get them or not though. Daniel found this cool jacket. It's like denim. It says Metro Express. Pretty neat. The this shirt's pretty cool. We're leaving now. I bought those shorts, which are nothing on my Pinterest board, but I'll still put them in the hall. Um, and then Daniel got a camera. Hello, it is again the next day, kind of later. And I'm um, gonna go to one more Goodwill to see if we can get anything else on my list. I'm sporting a new bag today. Look how cute it is. And I'm also wearing what I call a girl outfit. Um, my best friend Sydney made me realize that not everybody knows what a girl outfit is. It's basically just an all gray outfit, usually consisting of sweats. Um, but I'm wearing the summer version, so it's like gym shorts and a sweatshirt that I also thrifted. But we're going to a different Goodwill, one we haven't gone to in this video. I'm looking for my chapstick. I guess I'll use this one. This one is so pigmented, it's like a lipstick. Guys, it's warm in Kentucky. What's the temperature today? I don't know. It's gotta be like 85. 85. Spring has sprung. It's summer. I just guessed. You got it right. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Here. 85. All right, let's head out. We'll see you when we get there. I already know better 24k got 
got nothing on me Make you want it forever Try to play a game, but you don't play for keeps Messing with Here's my thrift and fit Got my new balances on Socks uh, Old shorts from Target Thrift and sweatshirt And my cute new bag Made over shoes on hardwood For me, you know I wrote the book I'm moving along from somebody wrong So go ahead Tell me all the ways you miss it How you want me back in your bed But I'm not around for hearing you out I, I gave you so much honestly And you closed the door Now you're calling me But I don't need you anymore Yeah You want it forever Trying to play a game But you don't play for keeps Messing with a girl from the east side, yeah Then I love you Want to build your dreams on, yeah But I already know better I'm a go-getter And I got me on my own And I don't waste any time Chasing a ghost who don't try I'm tired of the show Put you up to self To somebody else It's too late Don't really care about all your mistakes You were out of your league first place not even surprised that you let me down 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 i gave you so much honestly and you closed the door now you're calling me but i don't need you anymore yeah i already know better 24k got nothing on me make you want it forever trying to play a game but you don't play for keeps messing with a girl from we both got one thing I got two. The car's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got two things? Yeah. What'd you get? Yeah, I got yeah, shorts and those long, like, banana public pants. Mm. Hey, boys and squirrels. I'm back <clears throat> from all my thrifting extravaganzas. I have a Propel. This is the best flavor propelled this one and the orange raspberry and the kiwi lime are actually all the best but I'm trying not to mess up my lipstick even though it's inevitable okay so I am home and here's my um my final thoughts on thrifting my Pinterest board it was not as easy as I would have hoped the things that I considered or what I what I thought was going to be the easiest to find I did not find. But I did find some good things. I found found and purchased a few things that were totally off um, off the mark, but I still wanted them. I also realized while thrifting that there were a lot of things. I felt like this Pinterest board I should have given more time to. Um, so maybe like I will do this again for fall and curate the Pinterest board for like maybe at least a week instead of giving it just like an evening. I really need to like think and research and get on Instagram and get get inspo. Uh, I've told you guys before, Haley Bieber is someone I just like love the way she dresses. Claudia Seleski, love the way she dresses. Who else, who else? Daniel Carolyn, Gorge. Maybe next time I'll give it a little more thought. But anyways, let's dive into what I did get. All right, so just grabbing off the top of the list, off the top of the pile here. Um, first thing is something that is was on my Pinterest board and out of my comfort zone, but I am actually really excited to style. My comfort zone when it comes to fashion has changed immensely in the last year. Uh, I've just gotten a lot more comfortable with trying fun things, different things. Um, not really having like a set style anymore. Um, it is a bra. The hold your horses. The way I'm going to style it, it I'm not just going to wear it, you know, just like by itself. So really pretty. I like the details. I like the pink and the black. I think it's really cute. The ruffle adds like a little extra length, I think. It's kind of more like a, like a bustier, you know? This actually has been washed. A few of the things you'll see still have tags, but this has been washed um, and I'm excited to style it. Next up, um, I actually thrifted before I started this series, but I wanted to throw it in because it was on my list of like little micro tops and this one is really fun. 
Um, this is basically a bra with like fringe on it. It's from the brand Luxel. And it is so, so cute. Really excited to style this. And again, the fringe adds like a little extra length. Very cute and would be very fun for Nashville. Up next is another item that was specifically on my Pinterest board. And this is a black mini skirt. I've actually worn this already for a photo, washed it and wore it for a photo. And I have a lot of different ways I would like to style this planned out in my head. Um, the one complaint I do have about this specific skirt is that it is an actual true like um, wrap skirt. So it does not, you know, it's like easy for it to to blow open with the wind and everything. So I think next time I wear it, I'm gonna throw on some biker shorts for a little extra coverage. I am not a raincoat here to keep you next is another item that was on my list. I've actually already worn it. Got a little lipstick on it though, so I need to wash it again. And it's really just an old men's uh, white, 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 what is, what are these called? One second, are they called what I think they're called? I'm gonna call them a rib tank top, okay? Um, I'm calling it a rib tank top, uh, but it's just Fruit of the Loom. Could have got it at Walmart, but you know, Goodwill tanks are only like a dollar. I did crop it and I did a pretty bad cropping it, but I was in a rush. So I'm going to, you know, go back in after I wash it again and uh, make it a little bit of a straighter line. Go back in the closet. Next is another thing that was kind of on my list. I wanted cargos. I have several cargos. I was really in the market for black cargos, but I found these and they just looked so beautifully worn in that I had to grab them. They are just like a true camo cargo. They have big pockets. The material is so soft and worn in. The buckles are actually broken, but I think that's kind of cool. It's like a little edge to it. After the storm, I'm not a match simply. Up next is a t-shirt. My husband found this for me and here is another example of my husband loving me so freaking much. He found this old Purpose Tour merch t-shirt from Justin Bieber. You guys know he took me to see Justin Bieber like two weeks ago and it was incredible. He bought us tickets floor seats. And if you missed that vlog, go check it out. It's on my page. But anyways, um, this is so cute. Again, another very worn in item that I can't wait to wash and also wear because I love that it's already got that soft, comfy vibe going for it. I don't have to wear it in. It even has like a few bleach stains, which I think really match the vibe. And this with biker shorts is going to be my summer uniform. Up next is a pair of Nike sweats. These are really cute and give me very 90s, 2000 vibes. They are just a classic Nike sweat, um, very loose fit. They're actually really warm. I was shocked by like how cozy they felt on the inside. They are a size small, but they're low rise and they do have a drawstring. So luckily I can cinch them to just fit me perfectly. But I'm also really excited to wash these. I think I'm gonna throw them in the wash tonight because I want to wear these ASAP. Next is a very specific thing that was on my list. Shocked I found it. Daniel actually found them for me and they are a pair of black joggers. They have the pockets. They are like a cargo style. They say off-white on the side. Pretty sure that they are not real off-white, but either way, they are super cool and very comfortable. I tried them on in the dressing room and I was oddly surprised. Daniel found them in actually the scrub section. So a little pro tip, check out the scrub section at your thrift store, you might find some cool cargos or joggers. Um, and these are also really soft and comfortable. Up next is an item that was not on my list, uh, but I couldn't pass them up. Once I tried them on, they just fit too perfectly. These are a pair of two-tone denim from the brand Carmar Los Angeles. Buttonfly, which you guys know are my favorite. And they are so freaking cute. Look at the two-tone, look at the distressing, the straight leg fit. It's all just like so dreamy. I love the raw hem. Love it, love it, love it. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna look up this brand. 
um, and figure out where it's sold because these are nice. They feel like such good quality. Up next is another thing that was totally not on my list and I'm really intrigued by because I can't tell if it's vintage or what. The tag looks vintage to me. It says studio in, I don't know, studio in NYM maybe, um, but it's a little square neck exposed seam crop top. So cute. I'll definitely get plenty of wear out of this. This one's not necessarily on my list, but I do still like the exposed seam trend. It's definitely more last summer, like Y2K, when Y2K was really popping off, but Y2K is definitely still on trend, so I will be wearing this piece this summer. And I don't have anything this color in my wardrobe, so vintage or not, it was a good find. Up next are two sweatshirts. You guys know that I was looking for some zip up hoodies. I had no luck with that. I thought that was going to be so easy. I swear I see those all the time, but apparently um, me and everybody else wanted one because I could not find a single one. I literally went through the entire rack of sweatshirts, did not, I didn't even find one that was just like not cute. I just didn't find one, period. I was grasping at straws, couldn't find a single zip up hoodie sweatshirt. But I did find these two pullovers. Uh, this one's a hoodie my husband actually found. It's Harley Davidson. It's a classic. I'm still on the Harley Davidson kick. You guys um, have been probably seeing that for like a year now. Um, but it just says Harley Davidson on the front. And then again, Harley Davidson on the sleeves. Great, great fit. And it looks like it's going to be a nice oversized fit. I actually didn't try it on in the dressing room because I figured we were going to get it no matter what. If we kept it or resold it. But... I'm thinking with some gray sweats, this would make a perfect grout fit. One more gray sweatshirt. Really excited about this one. This is going to be such a cozy piece for me. You guys can clearly see that I like the oversized comfy vibe. And on my Pinterest board, I was really given that as well. Kind of like laid back casual style. I feel like it's going to be very popular this summer. Well, at least for me. Um, so this is an oversized sweatshirt. It's just gray with blue font that says Ocean City and it looks like it is the most perfect oversized fit. I actually get so many compliments on this sweatshirt that I thrifted um, all the time. People are like, that's so cute. Where's it from? Someone asked me if it was Brandy Melville and I was like, nope, I got this at Goodwill. But I think it's just like the tan color. It's just a classic sweatshirt and it's my go-to. I wear it with biker shorts, sweat, sweatpants, everything. So I think this is going to be another good one for me. The second to last piece was the item that was totally not on my um, Pinterest list. But this is actually a pair of shorts that I remember wanting so bad several years ago. Let me figure out when these were in style. Like these were... Trending. They're American Apparel, like I told you guys. Um, and I really feel like American Apparel was popping off like when the Tumblr era was really, you know, alive and well. Um, but I still think that they're cute and I'm going to wear them. They're just these fun colored shorts, high rise. I mean, like 2014 me, 2012 me even would have freaked over these. So like inner Tumblr girl inside me just had to get these and I'm gonna wear them for something. And last but not least was another find that was truly on my Pinterest list to find. And it is just a classic pair of drawstring gym shorts. I did not find any basketball shorts that were like the right vibe for me. So I'm still going to be on the lookout for that. Um, but I am glad I grabbed those gym shorts. They don't have a brand or anything on them, but you know, I'm saying they're probably just like Walmart, Old Navy or something, you know, they're not anything crazy, but I think like the, the really simple pieces are what are going to be popular for me this summer. I am not a witness 
YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and liked me switching it up with this challenge. If you guys have any other ideas for challenges you want to see, if you guys want me to thrift a specific aesthetic, if you want me to uh, thrift under $25 or thrift my husband outfit, just something like that, let me know. I would love to do more challenges to, you know, kind of keep it fresh on this page. Again, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all my other social channels, a link down below, and I will see you guys next time for another video. Bye. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. All that good emotion. Just my kind of